Hey, what's going on everyone? Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter here. In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 ways that you could promote your reselling business for free, whether that's items you're selling on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Amazon, wherever the case may be, everything I'm gonna show you here is free. You won't have to pay a single penny. So let's start off with the first one, which is Instagram. I highly suggest that you go on to Instagram. It's just a great reselling community that's on there. So many people to connect with and network. You'll learn lots of other great ideas and tips that could help you with uh, your business. There's just, just a wealth of information on there. But it's also a great place to do some self-promotion. So one of the ways that people will do this is through the main feed. So you can see here, we have uh, in the main feed a picture by Common Ground Finds. Now you could put videos in here as well, but this is a picture of a book. It's a book called Formica and Design. So obviously this would be of interest to people who are looking up uh, things related to laminates. Uh, you know, Formica is a keyword here, Formica countertops. And you could see what they did is they put uh, some keywords here associated with hashtags. Now, if you're not familiar with hashtags, a hashtag is just the number sign followed by a certain word, a certain keyword. So you could see other ones that they put in here were interior design, design books, everyday art, design history, 1950s design, kitchen design, kitchen designers, books for sale, Insta books, eBay books. And those were, um, those came after the description which said for sale for Michael Laminate Art Books, $8 plus shipping, DM me for more info. So DM means direct message. So you could send people a direct message on Instagram and you could just make a transaction that way and then you don't have to deal with any fees uh, through like a third party uh, platform. So some people just put stuff on here just to sell uh, direct and they get out of the fees totally. But you could also uh, put direct links into Instagram and I'm gonna show you how you could do that in a moment and you could get people to come right over to your eBay store or your Poshmark closet, whatever the case may be. Now the reasoning behind the uh, hashtags and those keywords is that someone could then go up to the search box and they could type in hashtag in any one of those items there, any one of those terms, and when they do that, those search results are going to bring people to posts that have those keywords in it. So if someone was seeking information about Formica countertops, that's a pretty narrow area and there's a good chance that that could bring someone to this listing that has the book in it and then that would increase the chance that you could make the sale. One of the things that people will also put in Instagram is they'll write, see the link in my bio or see my bio link. And that is a reference to, I'm gonna bring you now over to my, uh, my main page on Instagram. That is a reference to, let's get over to the main part, hold on, that's my story. And I'm gonna show you Instagram stories in a second and how that could help you make a sale. But you see here, this is the main Instagram page. And right on the bottom, you get one link. That is called your bio link. And you want to use it wisely. Now. It depends on what you're trying to promote in terms of what you're going to put there. If your goal is that you just want to promote a YouTube channel, then you just put a YouTube link there. If your goal is you just want to promote a Facebook page you're running related to reselling, then you'd put that there. If you want to promote your Poshmark closet, you put that there. If that's the sole thing you're really trying to promote. But many people are interested in promoting more than one thing. But the problem is, is that you only get one link. So that is now going to lead to my second suggestion and then we'll go back to some more about Instagram. And I'm gonna focus the most on Instagram because it really is so important and such a great resource. But what you need to use is this program over here called Linktree. Now, I'm not getting any commission from any of these links that I'm showing you uh, right here. Uh, I could have linked up to an affiliate uh, link for 
uh, this, but I didn't. But anyway, um, what this is, is this allows you to turn this link right over here. Hold on. Let me show it to you. Here. I'm sorry. It's 345 in the morning, so I'm a little bit off. But right here, you click this right here. And what that does, and this is why it's called Linktree, is that it branches out. It takes that one link and branches it out into all of these other links. So you could see here for me, I've got a link to my YouTube channel, my Facebook group, uh, my eBay store. I've got a little Amazon store where I, I don't sell on FBA or anything like that, but they're just like some affiliate links that I run through there. So, and you could just, you know, keep creating things. Now, I have some color customization on this and I have, you know, some additional kind of like bonus features that I pay for, but there is a free version and you get like their automatic default colors, but it gets you what you need to turn that one link into multiple links. So there's a free version for that and that gives you this uh, promotion. And the reason why I broke it into two parts is because they are two separate sites. So Linktree is separate, but it works and it's embedded within Instagram. Uh, let me show you, there's many things you could do on Instagram, but let me show you another thing. This is your Instagram stories. And a lot of people who sign up on Instagram, they just see that main feed that I showed you earlier, and they don't realize anything about Instagram stories. And you're mainly gonna be using Instagram on your phone. You're not gonna be really using it on the desk on the desktop like this it just allows me uh, to show it to you you can use it in a limited way but it's really mostly meant for your phone but when you get it on your phone at the very top you're going to see people's icons this is obviously mine and what you want to do is click on that it allows you the ability to upload up to 60 second uh, video clips uh, broken up into little sections and you could do all sorts of things on there I'm gonna click on mine just to show you so you could see here this is me promoting my most recent YouTube video that I did uh, I also like to bring in a little bit of personal stuff so this is Daisy my dog uh, you could see she has her own Instagram account at Miss Daisy Wobble but this is the self-promotion that I did for my eBay store you could see here it's an 11 by 17 art print and I'm going to go back to it. It times out after about 15 seconds, but I could skip forwards. You'll notice that I use the hashtag for the artist, J. Scott Campbell. He's a very famous comic book artist. It says Danger Girls Race 11 by 17 art print. Then at the bottom it says at the primetime treasure uh, eBay store. And then it says link in bio. So people have to go over to that bio link, click it, Christina, and it them to my eBay store, and then they could go search for the item there. Now, once you get up to 10,000 followers, you can see here I have 5,636. But when you get to 10,000, then what happens is that you could embed a link uh, directly to your item or directly to your store or directly to a YouTube video, wherever you want to bring them to. And all the person has to do is swipe up and that's it. It takes them directly to the link. So that is uh, amazing because that cuts out another step. So the easier you can make it for people, uh, the better. But again, you have to have 10,000 uh, to be able to do that. But it's interesting. I put up that J. Scott Campbell uh, promo ad that I just showed you for that art print because I, I put it up for the purpose of, of doing this video. I do it every once in a while. Uh, and uh, lo and behold, look what happened. This is the one right here that I, that I showed. This is an enlarged version and it sold. It sold within about a half an hour of me putting that link uh, right onto, um, right onto my Instagram account, putting up that promo uh, right onto my Instagram. So that is that is something I believe was directly related to the Instagram uh, post uh, because normally, I mean, yeah, once in a while you might sell something pretty quick, but normally, and not with the art prints, they usually sit for you know a, a day or a couple of days, not usually within 20 to 30 minutes will somebody buy it. So uh, that was pretty cool to see that happen. Uh, and it just goes to show you uh, the power of um, of Instagram uh, promotions, if indeed I'm correct that the person did purchase it. Now, I have had other instances where I know for sure that the person who saw it on Instagram uh, went ahead and purchased it because they told me that. So I do know uh, in other instances clearly that it, that is exactly what happened. And the other thing that's interesting 
is that even if the item does sell, somebody else still might go to your store to look for the item and maybe they'll see that it's sold, but then maybe they'll go buy something else. So this was related to art print and you know, you could kind of relate this to posters. And if you look, uh, I then made a sale within about, I don't know, about an hour or so after that in which somebody bought three things at once. They bought two Star Wars posters and a U2 Rattle and Hum poster. That was great because it all sent out. It was all sent out in one mailer tube, so it was like about a thirty-two dollar purchase. So that was great. Now, was that related to the Instagram post? I don't know, but it could have been. That's the point. You're you're doing things that increase the chance that you could bring people over to your store and make a purchase. So Instagram for sure, and Linktree. Make sure you're using that as well. Those two things are very important. Now, the next thing that I'm going to show you is Twitter. Now, I do have a Twitter account, as you can see here. I don't use it much. I don't do much with it. Uh, and the reason for that is because I just personally chose to focus more on Instagram, on my YouTube channel here, uh, and managing my Facebook group. Uh, but uh, there is a good and strong and healthy reselling community uh, that is on Twitter, but there also there also is a lot of people that may be interested in your items depending on what hashtags you use. So for example, you could see right here, I put up a post that says uh, great deal for hashtag Beatles fans on the hashtag Abbey Road album at my eBay store. And here you could put a direct link into Twitter right there. You don't need uh, any certain number of followers or anything like that. You could put it in there the moment you start your account. So that's great. You could bring people directly over. The use of hashtags is identical uh, uh, in terms of how it works, the concept behind it on Twitter, uh, on Facebook. Many people don't realize you could use hashtags on Facebook uh, and also uh, on Instagram. So as you could see here, you would just directly click the link and it brings the person uh, right over uh, to my eBay listing. So uh, now if you're hooked up with other resellers, other resellers may very well buy from you if they find something interesting. So don't think that they won't buy from you just because they are a reseller. I'll show you another example of that in, in a moment when I take you into uh, option number four, which is Facebook. So be a part of Facebook groups. I'm obviously biased and I'm going to put in a plug for my own Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. We have 17,000 members over there and every day except Sunday, and I'll tell you what Sunday is uh, in a moment for those of you who don't know, but uh, every day I have a theme in which I allow people to self-promote their items through the theme. Now we do self-promotion in my Facebook group in a structured way. In other words, we don't want people coming into the group and just dropping links uh, to their items. Uh, that just leads to uh, a bad experience for, for most people. They feel that's too spammy. But if we structure it in a setting like this, it's very helpful for people. So you could see here it says it's Stuffed Animal Saturday. And then maybe tomorrow I would do like Music Monday. And, you know, we just just basically link it up to whatever the day of the week is. And so here you could see on Saturday 200 uh, comments, so 200 people uh, promoting their items. And you could just talk to people in the group. There have been so many people that have made sales through this. Um, you know, you just it doesn't mean you're going to make one every day, but still, it's a way to get your item out there, get it exposed. Even if somebody doesn't buy your item, they might say, oh, look, this dog looks cute. I like it. They click on it maybe they don't want it and what's up jeremy i see you right there uh, he's a good uh, friend of the channel there uh, he loves he-man masters of the universe so he's a great guy uh, he's actually a perfect example he's actually uh, purchased uh, stuff from me before in, including uh, recently so you know but someone might come over they might click on it maybe they don't they don't buy that item but they see other things in your store they decide to explore and they make a, they make a purchase of something else the whole point is you got to get yourself out there you've got to be seen in order to make sales you can't just sit there and assume you put your listing up and then you just wait and someone's just going to always come and buy it you have to be proactive with things uh, to get yourself to get yourself out there and get yourself some exposure now another thing that i do 
and this is the reference to Sunday, is we do something called Support That Seller Sunday. So every Sunday, I pick a member that is a positive member of the group, someone who's trying to help the reselling community, someone who's really stood out, someone who is supportive of what I'm trying to do on social media. So people who are supportive of the YouTube channel, supportive of my Instagram account, uh, supportive of you know, stuff that's going on in the Facebook group. That doesn't always mean that it has to be financial support, although that certainly uh, it doesn't hurt. Like if someone sends over a super chat or makes a purchase of something in my store I mean that's great that that's helping out supporting my business and that helps me keep going and doing the stuff that I am trying to do here uh, for the community so you know I like that but uh, so plenty of people have gotten in who have done that but plenty of people have gotten picked who have not spent a single dime doing anything with me so you know really just uh, really just depends but uh, you could see here I picked out uh, Raquel and uh, Raquel just made a ton of sales today. I mean, you could just see just scrolling down every single one of these are screenshots of sales. Generally, whoever is picked winds up making several hundred dollars of sales at least. Uh, the highest we've had so far for a single individual has been $549. I do predict as the group gets bigger, we are going to have someone who cracks $1,000 in one day of sales. And you can see I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And I buy from almost every person who's been put up I'd say about 95% of the time I make a purchase of the person who I decide to put up there sometimes it's just impossible for me to find something just because of my own taste and I just can't find something but 95% of the uh, time uh, I do so uh, that's that when I said individual we did have one instance where Chris the thrift shop hustler who many of you uh um, I know he's going by uh, Make Money on eBay right now, but he's a great guy, and um, he works in a thrift store in California that supports the American Cancer Society. So one day we had his store go up, and so uh, that was a really big day. That was over a thousand dollars in sales, but there was more of a kind of like a charitable purpose to that one. So we don't count that one as the record for an individual person so uh, but it just goes to show the potential of the event and it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger so that could be you that could be you making all of those sales uh, and the only way that's going to happen to you is if you come over to the group and just uh, you know partake in it be a positive member be helpful be supportive and uh, I look forward to having you over there the links down in my description section if you'd like to come over and join and that leads me into the next one number five which is YouTube and you just saw right there what did I do I used my YouTube channel to promote something else that I'm doing related to reselling so I used it right there to promote uh, my uh, my Facebook group and then earlier on I used it to promote uh, the Beatles the album that I'm selling that's a currently that's currently an active item so you don't necessarily have to start your own YouTube channel. I mean, if that's part of your personality that you like to kind of be out there like that and you don't mind doing presentations like this, then that's something you may want to consider. Um, there's a lot of people who are doing that. And in that context, context, you could bring up your own items, mention them, and you know it's a way to promote things. Um, but if you don't want to do that, there's other ways to get involved. Um, one person who has a great YouTube channel you can go over and get involved is Courtney from Bolo Buddies. I'll show her again in just a moment with something else that she is doing. But she's great because you could go on her channel and you could share. Uh, it's every Wednesday night at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And you could share an item of yours. Uh, that you think was a good item that you sold and uh, she will share it to the group and yes it's not currently an active item that you're selling but it will get you known more it will get your name out there more and it may bring people over to your story you might say wow that's really interesting that you have that up there let me go and, and check out what else this person has for sale uh, Courtney also does a great thing where if you submit your store to her, uh, she and that could be on any platform, she will do a um, a video focused on your store or on you know your reselling business and get that out there. So that's another way, free promotion through uh, YouTube. She's getting content out of it and you're getting a promotion out of it. So perfect, doesn't cost you anything. 
Um, you may even get interviewed by somebody. You know, there, I do interviews. Courtney does interviews. Uh, there's other people who do interviews uh, as well. So, you know, depending on if you have like a special niche or something where you have something to offer to the community, uh, you may, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, you may be called on to go out and just do a one-time interview with somebody and your business could get promoted. The person could put your links down in the description section. So YouTube is one option, either if you want to be a host or if you want to do other things uh, like I just mentioned. And some YouTube channel uh, owners will allow you, if you ask permission, to put a link down to a specific product that maybe you're, you're selling or something like that if it kind of meshes in well with, with whatever the topic is. So that's another way you can maybe put it in a text list a link with permission of the person running the channel. Now, speaking of Courtney, let's go on to number six, which is Pinterest. Now, I don't personally have a Pinterest page for uh, Primetime Treasure. I do have one for my medical website, uh, Med Friendly, which you can see that's what I'm logged in with here. Uh, but it's definitely a good idea to do. Uh, it's something I would like to do one day. You could see what Courtney did is she made one for her uh, Poshmark uh, and her Poshmark closet. And basically, Pinterest is like a visual bulletin board, essentially. And you just put pictures up. That's the main way people are looking through it. And again, this is not really mainly designed for the desktop, although you could use it that way. But most people are scrolling on their iPad or on their iPhones or you know on their smartphones. And they just see these pictures just scrolling down, scrolling down. So let's say right here, someone scrolls and they see these shoes and they're a size 9 and they like it. They may say, wow, that's interesting. You know, I would really like to get those shoes. And so uh, what happens is that there's usually some uh, tech, and there is, it's just not loading up right now, but there's text uh, to the side of it. And then that's um, associated with a direct link uh, that you could put into it. And then you click onto it and it directly goes over uh, to the person's uh, exact listing. So it goes right over to, uh, for example, it would go right over to Courtney's uh, Poshmark listing. So you're going to have, it's jamming up on me here, but uh, it does work. Let's see if we could get in there again uh, and show it. Oh, for some reason, can't find that page. I don't know why it's not showing up, but uh, it, it does work. Trust me, go over to Pinterest. Uh, there's other people who have reselling pages. You could even just type in uh, reselling and you will see uh, uh, that it works, but just click on it and it brings you directly over to the person's uh uh, direct site. So that's a cool option. Another one is mailing lists. If you have enough people who you have connections with in the reselling community, uh, you could start to create mailing lists in which you send people out special deals, special promotions. You could create a little newsletter related to your reselling business, and uh, that could be very helpful for you as well. Um, a lot of people use the program MailChimp and there's a free version and that gets you up to 2000 contacts that could be included into there so you could see that here but if you wanted to go out more than that then there's um, options in which you could pay up just like uh, the um, link tree that I showed you earlier there's different stages you know there's a free version to kind of bring you in and then if you want to enhance it uh, you move up from there but a lot of people use email as a way to market things uh, keep in mind you know not everyone's going to open all of those emails that come through and so you know you're hoping that you send enough of them out there that uh, you know even if a small percentage uh, open them up it could be enough to give you a few sales here and there so you want to use multiple different uh, promotion options you don't just want to use one thing uh, the more you could get your items out there the better however if you're just starting out I would advise against just jumping into every single one of these at once. Pick a few that you feel like would appeal to you. Focus on those, master those, and then move over uh, to the other ones. Another thing you could do is a blog 
Blogs are great ideas. I have a blog for Primetime Treasure. I don't really use it that I, that much right now. I would like to, but I spend so much time running my medical blog that I just haven't had the time to focus much on the um, on the reselling blog part. But Scavenger Life has a great uh, reselling blog, as you could see here. Now they usually uh, use it here to promote uh, things related to their episodes that they do about reselling. But as you can see here. There's all sorts of text that you could put in here, and that would include the ability to put in links. You could put in images. You could put in whatever you want. So you could do like a little article about maybe something that you're selling in your store. Maybe you're selling, um, you know, action figures, and you want to just do a little discussion about a particular figure and the history of that action figure. And then you say, by the way, I have one of these for my store here's some fun facts about them i have i have them right in my store right now here's the link and go right over to it and maybe even have a picture of the listing so you know you're basically promoting in exchange for providing people information sometimes you're just flatly promoting uh, but you want to be careful that that's not all you're doing. Because if all you do is promote, 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 people are going to get sick of it and they're not going to want to engage with your brand. So you want to make sure you're balancing it out with you know, providing information, providing something funny, providing inspiration, you know, whatever it is that you feel like you could bring to the table beyond the self promotion, make sure you're integrating that as well. And then just sprinkle some of the self promotional stuff in here and there. Uh, and that leads me to the, um, well, actually, I think I have two more. So I think this one is number nine. And this one might surprise you because you may have been thinking that I'm going to take you to another place that's non-platform. But I'm actually taking you within eBay. And this is one of my listings here. This is a Spider-Man uh, sketch here. And uh, what you could see is, and this is, for ev this is just an example, but on every one of my listings and some of you may have seen these if you've gone to them before but it says right here is a link it says visit the primetime treasure ebay store for more art prints comic books and amazing treasures updated daily so this link it's a clickable link you just click on it and it brings you right over to my store so you could see right there so now someone could easily explore it you know it's very simple it's just right there and notice too how i linked um i put the link there but i also made a description i linked up what the actual item is to things that are related to it so what do we have here we have something artistic we have spider-man so that's obviously comic books so i say for more art prints comic books and amazing treasures. Now, if it was, um, you know, clothing that I had up, for example, I might say, come over and look for more. I have more shirts. You know, if it was a shirt that I had, or if it was pants, hey, come over, look for more pants. If you have multiples of these things, you have enough of them, mention that. That will make people curious. I have had people literally tell me, oh, you know, you said you had this poster, and then you said you had more of that poster. Well, I'm that made me want to go and look. And now the person buys multiple from you and you save uh, money because you could combine shipping. And if you want to, if you could be even more specific, let's say you have lots of other Spider-Man art there. Just as an example, you could say, come over. Here's the link. I've got a lot more of these Spider-Man art prints over there. So maybe someone you know wants to come over and check those out. The more you could target it to whatever the item is, the greater the chance someone's going to click on that link and bring it over uh, and, and, and come over. So I know that some people are going to ask me uh, in the comments section, if I don't mention this now, how exactly do you get that link up? Well, uh, what you've got to do, and I think I did open it here, is you've got to go to the description section uh, here. So, you know, you can see here, here's your just, uh, you know, your regular listing template. And on the bottom, and I'm going to actually cut this out for you, and I'm going to put it in the description section for you, but there's a little bit of code that you need to enter into the HTML. You see here where it says HTML. HTML is the language that the computer reads to uh, display what it is that they're showing you. When you're normally working, you're normally working in standard mode like that. But it appears this way because of a code that was written called HTML. And the computer basically takes all of that that you see there and turns it into what you see 
over here. And that includes the link. So that link over there is represented by right over here. This little bit of code is what shows that up. So you can see here it says A href so that's the reference to and here's the link and you could put in any link you want for for me it says stores.ebay.com slash primetime treasure and then after that once you enclose that with those little arrows that's the text that's going to show up um, for that link so the text there is visit the primetime treasure ebay store so i'll put something like that in the description section right towards the top and you could then take that you could edit it as you see fit and you could just put it right into your listings just go right into html and that's a free way to promote your business promote your store and there's uh, for people who are on other platforms you just have to check out if you have customizable html there may be a way you could do it there as well uh, last but not least i'm going to mention tiktok now i do have a tiktok account i do not dance on it or do comedy acts on it uh, that's what a lot of people use it for uh, it's grabbed a lot of attention in the younger generation but a lot of adults are checking it out too more uh, especially uh, people home under quarantine or stay at home orders uh, they're seeing uh, what their kids are involved in and what their kids are watching. And so a lot of people are getting into TikTok. And there's a lot of resellers who are getting into TikTok as well. Pure Hustle Podcast, for example, American Arbitrage. Uh, and they've got big followings uh, because there's not, you know, there's not a ton of people over there compared to like in reselling compared to what's on the other platforms. But it's starting to build up. So it's a great place to go over. You basically make like little videos, like 30 second videos of yourself. And you could talk about reselling. You could talk about your product what you have to offer again you want to make sure it's just not self-promotion 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 all the time you want to make sure you're also providing good information and again sprinkle in something here and there for your viewers uh, so and, and remember there's nothing wrong with self-promotion uh, people will tell you all the time that if they like you if they like your content then they want to support you they want to keep you going they realize that so that's really crucial to understand don't feel bad about doing some self-promotion here and there you need to do that it's a very competitive space and you you know these are all options to get yourself out there and again they're all options in which you could do that for free so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you hit that like button. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Super duper important to do. Uh, if you are not yet subscribed, that would really mean a lot. Um, you know, again, come check out. I showed you the Facebook group, all the opportunities there, and I showed you my Instagram account. Uh, there's there's so much going on there as well. All those links and more down in the description section. So go check them all out. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video again. Uh, if so, uh, do all those things. And uh, I'll be uh, thrilled to see you over at the next video, everyone. Take care.